Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, Stella Wilson Creations. At this point, you guys know I have been struggling to try to find a planner for this year because there are no happy planners available in our area that I like. I refuse to go to the happy planner website and pay full price. So I have been using this Dollar General planner that basically is falling apart at the Sims seems um so i had to figure out something and so i took this week to figure out what i was going to do i went through all of my stuff i destashed a planner that i just knew i wasn't going to use and now it's between four i went ahead and made myself plan in each of them the monthly and the weekly layout that i'm going to show you today i didn't do it on camera because it is a lot and i want you guys to help me choose what you think is the best planner and which one you think I would actually use after you hear the reasons why I don't like them and the reasons why I do like them. So um, here's the first one. It's a traveler's notebook that I made. It's a laminated traveler's notebook. It is so pretty. So that's the first one. The second one is this um, mini happy planner. Uh, it says plan a happy life. So it's a, a horizontal layout. And then the next one here is a traveler's notebook from Michaels. I got this cover on clearance. Um, so it looks like this. And then the fourth one is just a Target uh, dollar spot planner. And I'm going to start with the one I like the least because I just, well, I don't know. I don't know if it's the least, but I can tell you what I don't like about this one. So here's the Target planner. And what I don't really like the most is the uh, how big this um the spine is it's huge and i don't know because you can't bend it or whatever it makes me uh, not like that shape so anyway i just decorated it with some stickers from the dt here so i fully planned out and decorated all of the planners because i want to get my um true opinion on how i felt about them so this is the target planner i put one of those dollar tree pockets on it and that's just a laminated card that i'm showing you can go in that little pocket or little things a little bit bulkier that's like a planner i don't know tag i guess you want to call it um and it just goes on the front of your binders um and i'm using that little girl picture i'm just in love with it i'll show you later where that image came from but i made a dashboard for my front and i like that a lot um i'm in love with that image and then this is how the monthly turned out um those stickers are from some of the i think those were the target sticker books um but i really like how this and hobby lobby um turned out i used some dt washi down the middle um the february stickers are from hobby lobby but i really liked how the monthly layout looked um yeah all the green ones say vacation from my staff and my assistant they got some vacation coming that little girl image is so cute so overall i like this feel And then here I'm turning to um, the weekly and again I use some DT washi over the holes and then the other washi on the left on the outer side is from I think Target last year and another one of those planner uh, tags and it turned out super cute and simple um, and yes Mother Nature is here. And so that's kind of how that week turned out. Um, I have my LOL pen on the side. And yeah, that's the Target Planner. So. So here you're going to see me just showing you the little Dollar Tree stickers. They came in this um, one sticker pack. They do have like the purple as the background. But there's some cute little girls. So I'm showing you that one. I thought I want to go with the LOL stuff. Just cute. And I also have that same sticker on the front. Um, and so I'm just showing you everything. And I mean, I like the Dollar um, Target Dollar Planner. It's okay. 
And the next one is this one. It came from Michael's. That little tassel I made from an Etsy AliExpress. It was AliExpress order. And I um, took a couple of them off and just left the dangle. What I don't like about that Michael's planner is the string is rather loose. Um, and I do know how to fix it and make it tighter. But it came like that. So I wanted to show you guys that. And um, here how it looked when you open it. Again, that girl that I love. She's just paper clip with a pom-pom paper clip to the front cover. Um, and then on the side, those are two paper clips that I made. The LOO post-its or sticky notes are in that first secretarial pocket. Um, I just made it all look cute and girly. And I really, really do like this planner considering that the outside cover was a clearance find at Michael's for like three bucks and the actual planners inside are from the DT. I got the monthly one and the weekly one from the DT. So as you open it, this is a DT planner, guys. So you can buy stuff affordable and cheap and use it. And I actually really like how it lays flat, um, completely flat and so that you're not um, obstructed, obstructed in writing like um, I'm right handed and I can write on either side of the page just fine it's just so pretty and I really liked how this layout turned out it's cute and simple um, but it worked and I like I liked how it turned out so I would get this monthly planner for a traveler's notebook. And I did cover all of the notebooks with scrapbook paper. Here's the weekly one. Um, I don't love it as much, but it looks good. It has enough space. Um, and I just don't know how I'm going to use each of them. But, I mean, it was okay. Um, and then I made a folder because I thought I needed some more pockets. And that... Um, that notebook insert came from um my, a Walmart, I believe. And I like that light green. So I didn't want to cover that up because I thought I would use it throughout. So I just made the folder and kind of used that as a cover so that it can go with all the pink. And it was so cute. And then I'm showing you the pockets on either side. There's nothing in them right now. And then this little envelope came from Hobby Lobby. And I put that down in the Target um one spot little adhesive pockets again this one had the LL pink pen um, some paper clips that I made myself and overall I really did like this one um, yeah loving that pink one with the hearts it's so pretty so I think I will pay like maybe six dollars total for that one and the next up is the Happy Planner Mini. I did have this undated one from last year, and I decided to use it for this year. And overall, forcing myself to use it again, I liked it a lot more this go round. So here's the pockets, and those are just like little cards that I had made from last year. That's my zine. My word of the year last year was overcome. And um, I think this year I'm just going to, Click my word of the year to be joy. Um, and so I'm going to do a whole maybe another zine about joy. Um, and then I used some stickers from the sticker pack. Um, that tassel I made. And I, all the other ones had tassels. So that was a tassel with a little pocket from uh, the DT. And I wanted mine to have it. It matched the cover rather well. And then I'm just showing you all the little stickers. I did put my name on the bottom with those stickers. I think those came from Target. They actually didn't stick really well, so I ended up removing my name from the bottom. But it still turned out really cute. And there's the girl again. I actually taped her down with double-sided tape. Super pretty. And this is how the monthly turned out. I love using my washi down in the middle and then some of the new uh, Chrissy and Design stickers there for Valentine's Day. I mean, I just think it turned out really cute all together. Simple with a little bit of decorations on it, but it, it turned out beautiful. I really liked how this one turned out compared to when I did January last year. Now, that January of last year is still in this planner. Like I told you, I had this one from last year. It is undated, and I don't love undated planners. There's March, and it has green kind of Waller color effect, and to me, that's appropriate for St. Patrick's Day. So, 
I like this planner overall. I like that it has like its own cover and I can close it and everything stays inside. Um, I like that the LOL pack of pen actually um, had enough pens of every color. Pretty much a, 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 a pen for each planner. I found a pen that went with each planner. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, there's the weekly spread. Those are the new washies from Michaels. Um, and again, something simple. I didn't actually cover by the rings um, with washi tape because I thought that that pink went really well with it. Um, and I did use the same stickers for all the layouts because, like I said, I was trying to give you guys a true opinion. And I was also trying to show you guys that you can plan with what you have in all kind of different planners. Um, I'll be curious to know which one you guys like the most and which one you actually thought I end up using. I am going to tell you at the end of the video which one's currently in my bag. Um, still don't know if I have a favorite yet, but I did pick one out of these four. And I am carrying that one in my bag currently. And I'm going to see, you know, how long I end up keeping it in there. So we can, you know, see about that. So that's that. And then this one I'm in love with. I made this laminated traveler's notebook. Um, it's so cute. I, I, it's the traditional like traveler's notebook size. It is so pretty. Um, another tassel up there. I think that one came from the DT just as is. But look how cute she is. She's adorable. Um, I really like how this turned out, like the cover and everything. Um, what I'm having issues with is the insert. That is Stella on the left I got from Daphne. She sent that to me in some happy mail. And I love that, how she wrote my name. And so I've just been keeping that pretty much with every planner I have. I'm not getting rid of that. There is the image that I got that I copied that you guys have been seeing thus far. It was actually in a Hobby Lobby Traveler's Notebook. And I love that image so much. I literally put it on my printer and copied it. Now, you can tell that the image colors did come out a little different than the original, but still very pretty. So here is the monthly. And I have to say, like with the Dollar Tree ones, the page did lay flat. And in this monthly, it does not lay flat. And when I worked on decorating it, I did take it out of the Traveler's Notebook. So I had it by itself, that one and the DT one. And I don't really like how it lays. I'm not sure if it's because one is stitched and one is stapled or or what the deal is. But there I am showing you that the Dollar Tree one lays flat. And this one just does not. And I don't like it when I'm trying to write close to the inside of the page. But there's the little girls, the DT girls again. They are so adorable. If you guys haven't seen that sticker pack, it's like a purple pack. And it had a whole bunch of little girls on it. And it's so cute. So I did like how this one turned out. Um, I wish I would have used a little bit more washi like at the top could have used some washi Oh, and the other thing I didn't know is I guess I've always had um, Planners that has straight edge and when I use this planner I did have to cut the ends like around the corners with every washi when I used the top and that was something I wasn't used to so that was another step and I'm not sure if I love it, but um, I just like cutting my washi with the credit card or, you know, um, gift card or whatever and leave it like that. But with this one, you act you have to do an extra step and use scissors. So we'll see how that goes. But I mean, that was the least. That was like the worst of the planner. Everything else about the planner I love. So and then so, okay, I guess I should not say that because this was another thing that was different to me and I'm just not used to it. They had a week on one page and there I'm showing you that it was a one week on one page. And so currently I just decorated the one week, but I'm like, should I do the whole two weeks with the same theme since it's on the same page or how I should make that work? But currently I just did one a week. Um, and I really didn't know how to use it. And I did want a lot of room to actually you know, right. So that's how it turned out. It's kind of simple. I guess this whole planner is kind of simple because the boxes are smaller. So that was my little first layout. Not, I don't know if I use this by itself. I will be satisfied with the amount 
of, um, you know, decorating that I did. Like, I would probably be bored and end up using other things. But it will work. And I think it's easier to carry in your purse because it's a smaller dimension. Um, overall, I liked it. So, whew, there you go. So, I have the Happy Planner, the Traveler's Notebook, Laminated, the Traveler's Notebook, Michaels. And then I had the Target One Spot. The one I am carrying in my bag, guys, guys. Drum roll is the Peach and the Heart one. That is the one that I ended up carrying carrying it in my bag and I will let you guys know which one I like the most um, once I use it for a while. Thanks so much for watching this video guys and I will see you in the next one.